Okay. Hello and welcome. I have today in this interview some members uh, from Animal Art, Art Club here. We are a, a nice group. We have here uh, Pat from the United Kingdom and <laughs> hello and Britta, she's from Germany and Jamie from Central US and Marie from Canada. Welcome and thank you for your time. Hello. 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 Hi. I'm so grateful that you're here and I would like to speak a little bit about your experience in Animal Art Club and also Jamie is a brand new member. What um, was uh, the reason why you have joined now? So um, I will start with uh, Pat from the United Kingdom. So you are now in Animal Art Club for uh, the second year. I I'm very happy at, about that. And I would like to ask you, um, would you uh, like to tell you a bit about yourself before we start and then explain a bit about your uh, story, about your success story in Animal Art Club, or what you have learned, what were your results, what is your experience in the club? Well, um, yeah, I started um, painting before COVID in a live um, local class and COVID hit and then I was looking for things online and I discovered pastels and really got hooked. And then I saw your um, three day mini course mm -hmm. and totally hooked after that because it was uh, just amazing. And I'm sort of semi retired due to ill health. And um, it really, art for me has helped my mental and physical well being because I can't stand on my feet for that long. So it's been, been great to find something like that um yeah I like um excuse me I like <laughs> uh yeah I like pastels and um the realism you can obtain and I love your classes because the uh you sh show the details and I also like the fact that you can just go on there anytime you want to animal art club is amazing for that you can go at your own pace yeah, and uh, I've noticed how my work has improved in the last year, especially with the fine details. That's where I struggled um, with layers and getting the thin lines. So that has helped me no end. You know, it's been really good. Would highly recommend it. Yes. Okay, that's uh, a great. So that art helped you uh, after being sick or with your mental health yes, too, and to have something to do. This is great that you also have spoken about this because I also hear many artists start after COVID or during this COVID time or to find something to do, then afterwards something relaxing. Yes. Uh, okay. The other thing I like is um, with the Animal Art Club is the fact that um, you show the colors. A lot of tutors just don't tell you the colors. But in starting out, you haven't got a clue. You do need to know what colors. We don't see. I think you've got to fine tune your eye and this is what comes with practice and the tutorials are great for so that you can um, pick colors yourself and I'm getting better, but it's a great help knowing what colors to start with so at least you can produce something that looks semi realistic. Yeah, so that, that's um, great. Okay. The other art club as well is the fact that you've got everybody at hand and the Q&A is great because there's someone to answer your questions. If you get stuck, you haven't got to wait. So yeah, and sharing you sharing everything with everyone else is is great. Yeah. Cool. So you also love the community. So the community, yes, it's a great support, and we sort of uh, have a bit of banter and and help each other. So that's nice, and you can see how other people are progressing as well. So you don't feel alone. Yes, it's 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 always better to be together with others, and it's totally different to follow a self-paced course or a self-study course and yes. doing it for yourself than to do it uh, together with your peers. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, thank you, Pat. So, yeah. um, where did you 
Where have you been with your art before you have uh, joined Animal Art Club? So did you draw before? Um, no, very little. I literally only started a few years ago. And as I said, with paints and then progressed to pastels. And then I haven't gone back to paints. I like the pastels and I like your tutorials. So that's what I've stayed with. There's such a variety you can uh, obtain with with pastels, I think, you know. And yeah, I've learned lots, but really have learned, learned a lot. Thank you. That's really uh, amazing to hear. And you also are now in uh, Animal Art Club for another year, for a second year. So uh, amazing. Thank you for the, this. And thank you for sharing your experience. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for your time. Um, Marie, you are also one of my members that are longer now in the Animal Art Club. And um, you are from Canada. It's very early for you. <laughs> so 6 a.m. in the morning. Thank you for your time. I appreciate this very, very much that you take the time to speak with me about your experience. <laughs> so um, how did your art life look before you have joined Animal Art Club? Well, before my animal, uh, my animal art club, um, I was working, didn't have much time doing much art. Uh, then I, I retired and in 2019 there was the COVID so I started drawing I started courses uh, drawing graphite pencils with graphite pencils and my friends were saying oh it's nice but maybe you should put some color but I didn't know how to use color pencil or pastel I didn't know pastel existed even uh, those pastel pencil pencils so uh when i saw your ad on uh, facebook um about three or four days uh, try, uh free to try so i did try it and i really loved it and from there i was hooked <laughs> so that's how i when you open your art club uh, i wanted to be part of it um I always wanted, like, I always felt I had kind of, quite of an artist side, but never developed since I'm an accountant. So it's too, yeah. too very different. And um, this, I, with this, I'm able to kind of start developing and letting go, and it feel it feels really great. Um, um, I find that in your course, there's a lot of uh, tutorials to. To, to pick from uh, either if you're limited in time uh, or um, depending if you want to do a certain subject and then like and you add up every month so and you do a lot a lot so this is really great I really like that um, uh, the way you teach as well that's another thing that I like it because it's um, it's very precise like like uh, the person before was saying there's um you, you, to tell us the color the, of the pen of the pencil and everything so there's no questions you just look you follow you do okay. it and uh, also often when I do it it's um with the speed 0.75 not as fast as you do it so I'm able to do it at the same time and so I'm not necessarily always uh, copying I'm just hearing and I'm doing it so this is great as well um uh, I'm not good at all. Yeah. And I, I, another thing, and before COVID, I was doing a bit of painting, okay. and I never enjoyed it. Okay. I, I, I always wanted perfection, and it, I was never putting enough details. And like now, it's you know, with the fruit, it's a lot of details. So <laughs> I'm able to to satisfy myself, enjoy it. That's yeah. also great to hear. Thank you for sharing that, so that you're not. Uh, would like uh, so this perfectionism sometimes mm -hmm. can be stressful um right so that you don't overwork or that you also be satisfied yes. with what you have achieved okay thanks yes. thank you also for mentioning uh again this uh so thank you that you say i'm a good teacher and you understand <laughs> 
And this possibility to join the speed and to press the pause button and watch the videos at your own pace. So you have all different kinds of possibilities to follow the lessons or also just uh, switch off the sound and do it a little bit by yourself. Or if you, if you need it, follow step yeah. by step all that. You so I really would like, I, uh, my uh, intention is to, to create this art club for everyone, for beginners who really need the guidance and for or if you are a bit more advanced that you can jump back to the lessons and take little bits out of it, them to for your own artwork. Okay. Yes, exactly. Thank and you. also I've been in your club for since the beginning and I'm seeing my progress and I'm not as insecure as I was before, which what am I doing? Oh, this is this is not enough. This is this is not the right way. This whatever, like you get more and more confident. Yes, so you will grow over time, you, you, you will learn a lot, it's, everybody's uh, journey is different, and, yes. but it needs a little bit of time and passion, but you will grow and, and you will improve. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for sharing this too. So you are one of my first members in Animal Art Club. So we see what you have uh, learned or what was your experience. Thank you for sharing this. <laughs> You're welcome, Sabine. Thank you for your time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> then we also have Britta here. Hi, Britta. You are from Germany. Uh, you are a non-native English speaker. I also appreciate you here in Animal Art Club. You have joined some months ago. So uh, thank you for your time today, too. And can you share a little bit where uh, were you with your art before you have started with the lessons? And um, what is your experience in the club uh, with the lessons? And where are you now with your art? Okay, um, I started uh, drawing about in 2009, just with acrylic painting on, on canvas. Okay. And and I've never drawn an animal before, only landscapes and things like that. And uh, the first contact to pastels I had in uh, 2020. And that was only um, landscapes again. So okay. when I seen the course on Facebook, I said, oh, that, that looks great. And I I just tried to cool. follow. So you and were new to drawing animals, you just yeah. start drawing animals in my course, that's that great. And when when I started the first four lessons, I said, no, that won't won't work ever. <laughs> <laughs> and when when we we if we've drawn the eyes, I made a great progress, I, I think. And then it went on and on, and so I can't stop. <laughs> oh, cool. So you became addicted to it. <laughs> yes. and, yeah. and I just started in May this year, so it's not really long ago. Yes. And we've drawn the German Shepherd. Yes. And afterwards, I did the cat. Yes. <laughs> the eagle. Oh, cool. The elephant baby. Yes. And now I'm working on the giraffe, but I, I've changed something. So that makes a difference for me. Now I can't follow the lesson. Okay. I've um, wanted the tongue to get out of the mouth and yes, to clean the nose. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you added your own details yes. the giraffe portrait. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yes, uh, we all we all, so you see you started really as a totally beginner with drawing animals. You have really struggled drawing your first fur, and you have thought that this will never work for you. And now you are drawing all different kinds of animals, and you are also bringing your own details into you, the portraits. Oh, I like that! Amazing. <laughs> Cool, thank you for sharing, Britta. This is fantastic. And uh, one question, you are German speaking, so you are not a, not a native English speaker. How can you follow the lessons? Uh, because I know many people are thinking about that. If 
they can understand uh, in the English, or this is a little bit of a hurdle for them because they are not so, so familiar with the English language. Um, is it, uh, and so do you understand and can you follow the lessons? Yes, I can. Um, first, I was afraid of, of it too, but um, you speak clear and slowly so you can really follow. Okay. Because you can see what you're doing, some yeah. things exp are explained by doing, just, yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing this too. And your English is also not bad, by the way. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Britta. Thank you for your time. <laughs> okay, and now we have one new member here. I appreciate your time very, very much too, because you are from the central US and it is 5 a.m. in the morning. It's uh, uh, a very, very uh, kind of you that you came to this interview. You have joined this week Animal Art Club and um, Please, can you uh, tell, tell me a bit about your experience with art before the workshop? So you were now a participant in this workshop, what you have learned and just what was your intention to join Animal Art Club and what are your goals? <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Jamie. Um, so I've done artwork off and on my whole life. I'm 45. I, I did it all through school and um, off and on as my, in my adult life. Um, and I, I, uh, I don't consider myself a beginner, but I consider my, I, I'm not advanced by any means, at least in my own mind. I, uh, I'm my own worst critic when it comes to doing my artwork. And so, uh, everything I do, uh, I, I never really feel as, is as good as it should be. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, I, uh, I ran across your course on Facebook and I thought, um the, the the three courses uh the little short courses you had and um i love doing animals that's my favorite um i i love doing domestic animals wildlife and then i showed horses competitively for over half my life so uh definitely love doing the horses and so i was immediately drawn to the type of artwork you were doing i signed up for the courses i i wasn't where i could do them when you posted them so i had to do them later mm -hmm. um but just fell in love with the way you taught the course um, the, and, and how detailed it was, how lifelike it was. I very much am someone who wants to do drawings that look like a photograph. Um, I, I love that realism. So um, I, uh, after kind of with art, I, I've been on and off for a long time, but I want to be able to actually use it as part of a supplement to my income. Okay. Uh, doing commissions or you know just even my own own artwork that maybe you know I can sell here and there yeah um, so so that's my reason for continually wanting to do it as well as I find it therapeutic sometimes you just need to sit down and draw and just let the world fade away <laughs> yes. um, so uh, and as you said I'm brand new I just have only been in it a week so there's only a few of the lessons I've had the opportunity to really work with and I'm waiting on the actual pencils and paper because um, although I think the the couple things I did, I did the zebra and um, the brown, the curly fur, yeah. um, did not turn out bad. I, I know the pencils and what I'm using isn't um, making it look as good as it could be. So I, I'm excited to see the update when I get the, the new pencils and the paper to see the difference to compare the two. Yeah. Um, but I love uh, your your art club, the, the options that you have for what you want to learn whether it's cats dogs horses um just parts of the the animal i think sometimes it's so easy to jump in you see this a whole like head and, ch and chest of a dog or the whole dog and you think yes. oh that will be easy to whip out and you don't realize just how much time and detail you can put just into the eye yeah. and so yeah um i i've so far really enjoyed i have no problems following along with your videos i love that i can back them up move them forward mm -hmm. go just where i need to go um i i do truly believe just in the week that i've been because i've watched a lot of your videos even and not done the artwork okay. like i went through the one whole horse head tutorial just watching it okay. um <laughs> very good for beginner to people who are more advanced like me, but still need that, that critique, that little bit of, of yeah. help. Love the community. Um, everyone is so helpful. Um, and, and, uh, 
the criticism is great because we all need that. No one's perfect, yeah. but I just love that. Um, and everyone reminds you not to compare yourself to others. Cause I'm really bad about that. I'm one of yeah. those people <laughs> that, well, I, I should be able to draw as good as this person's doing it. Everyone's different. And so, yeah, the community so far this week, I've really enjoyed going on Facebook every day and, and I was kind of someone who was getting off Facebook. I wasn't on it very much. I find myself going to the club so, yeah. so I can read the comments and see what people have posted. So yeah, really, really enjoying uh, everything so far. And I, I hope as the year goes on, I'm excited to look at what I've done recently. And in a year's time, look at what I've done just through your courses uh, to see the difference, so. Oh, I love that. Thank you. So uh, thank you for speaking also about that, that everybody is on their own journey, that you should not compare too much. And everybody is uh, his uh, biggest uh, critic. And <laughs> by that. uh, that's yep. true. So just focus a little bit on yourself. That's amazing. So you also cool that you just joined Facebook to follow the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Yes. Um, and you like like uh, also the community and critics are helpful also for advanced as you have described so not only beginners can uh, learn from that also advanced people have to improve you're right yes and yeah, so, yeah. Uh, grateful that you will share this all and all your insights so amazing that you are in the club and uh, thank you all here uh, in the room for sharing your experiences total different people from all over the world we have a beginner, totally beginner who have joined and advanced people who have joined uh, and uh, some are longer there, some are totally new. So thank you for sharing uh, some insights into the club and I wish you uh, a lot of joy and fun in future, a lot of learnings and improvements. And I hope I see you soon then in the club and in the live calls. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I Thank wish you a so great much. day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sabine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.